I think you talked about this on, on RTF. Would Father Altman consider being a priest in the SSPX? Yeah. So, you know, uh, again, it's only since Thursday right? when yeah. I thought I was canceled. So my mind is swimming. And, well, what do I do? Um, would there be another order that would uh, accept me? Right. I, I know, guess I'm you could throw into this question, you know, FSSP, Institute of Christ the King, other yeah. orders. Right. Uh, I'm actually curious, What would it be difficult to transfer to another diocese to say Strickland yeah. took you? But right. I'll also, I'll well, let you finish the SSPX one because yeah. a lot of people are interested in that one. There's about, that right. question's been asked about eight times in the chat. Yeah. Um, it's such a deep theological question uh, on the SSPX. I think that they have, uh, and I'm no expert uh, at all. <clears throat> They've had their their sex abuse scandals just like every other diocese in the United States and around the world. So I wouldn't I wouldn't hold that so much against them uh, because everybody's done this. Um, I mean, you can't go to a single diocese in this country where there hasn't been scandals. Uh, La Crosse is one of the least. And yet yet there were there were problems here uh, in the past. So y you can't go to another diocese without the bishop of your diocese releasing you. So, for instance, when Father Kalchik, if I understand this correctly, wanted to go back to Michigan. He's Subit in Chicago, right? Yeah. He's the one Subit who burned the uh, rainbow flag. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. In Chicago. Celebrated yeah. the mass on, right? <laughs> right. That picture of Bernadine standing underneath that. Wow. It's my staggering. goodness. Well, anyway, so so my understanding is that Supich refused to release him because a bishop has to release you to go to another diocese right. at the same time. as, And I've seen this in live and in action because we've had priests from Africa incarnate into the Diocese of the Cross. And you, you get the letter from the bishop over there saying, yep, I'm giving you permission. And then you get this bishop accepting him. So that's kind of to go to an order is a different thing. But, um, to, you know, even if even if I was. There's notoriety that comes with, I guess, baggage. Let's call it baggage. It's, it's bad baggage, as, as some people would think of it that way. What order would even want to accept me? So, uh, <laughs> right, right. It's, you know, Father David Nix, he's a hermit. He's sure. got his own little thing going out there. And there are other people that are hermits. And so uh, the church frowns upon having freelancers, as it were. Uh, so they don't really care for that. Uh, and they're still beholden to a particular diocese. You just can't. There's no such thing as a freelancer. Right. So, um if this means that uh, if by speaking the truth and speaking it in a manner tone that some bishop doesn't like, if that's what uh, speaking the truth has cost they, the capacity to serve in that way towards people, well, then I have to give that up to God, don't I? Um, and I don't have to answer for it. The person who, who restricts you, who takes it away, is the one that has to answer for that. And, uh, and there's no, like I said, there's no excuse for saying this division. They have caused a division. I only talk about it. So... Um, what what's going to happen in the future? I, I guess I don't know. Uh, the it would be nice for S it like for instance SSPX or or something else, um, some other order uh, to. I, I mean, my heart's in being a parish pastor. Right. Uh, so uh, even even places like FSSP or the institute, they are still have a parish within control of the diocese. Yeah, see, I'm thinking in order for you to be in the FSSP or the Institute, you'd have to be released by bishop, your bishop right. to join one of those. So it seems like if there was a complete, you know, bridge burning and there's no way back, I think the only yeah. way you could go would be something like the Society of St. Pius X or maybe something independent right. or who knows what God has in store in the future. Right. Things are pretty rocky right now in general in the Catholic Church, as we yeah. all know, post pre-COVID, but certainly post-COVID. 